Number 10. Emily Stollard In January 2020, 37-year-old Emily Stollard was stopped by a security officer in the middle of a Walmart in Florida. At first, it looked like she was minding her own business, looking at items and shopping like a regular person. However, upon further inspection, the guard saw that she was holding an odd-looking object that turned out to be a homemade bomb. Stollard had apparently been walking around the building with her young son for over an hour. She was carefully pulling things off shelves to make the explosive device out of a mason jar, nails, and kerosene. Thanks to the help of the security team and a customer, she was quickly taken into custody before she was able to light the bomb off. In footage captured from the incident, it seems Stollard was literally holding a lighter right before being apprehended. When she was asked what she was doing, the woman simply laughed and told police officers the makeshift explosive wasn't hers. They obviously didn't believe her though. In the end, the suspect was given charges of arson, child abuse, firebombing, and more for the stupid stunt. Number 9. Alyssa Zabraski In November 2018, 27-year-old Alyssa Zabraski was arrested by Ohio police officers for shoplifting. It's one thing to shop at Walmart, but it's an entirely different thing to steal from the store. The woman allegedly stole a handbag from the establishment, which led to a wild car chase as the authorities tried to apprehend her. One thing we should mention about Alyssa is that it seems as though she's a big fan of tattoos and skeletons. The young woman has a massive facial tattoo resembling a Mexican sugar skull. It's as if she's permanently ready for Halloween at all times. The top of her forehead is covered in a spider's web while both of her eyes are darkened with elaborate details outlining them. Her lips also have several straight lines running through them as if to show skeletal teeth. Alyssa's appearance definitely made her mugshot one to remember. After the cops took her to the Mahoning County Jail, they found multiple baggies filled with meth inside her stolen bag as well as a few needles. It's unclear what Alyssa's sentence was, but the skeletor-looking woman likely received a hefty jail sentence for drug-related charges. Number 8. Devin Keith People in government are often looked up to as leaders of our country, even in local governments. These city officials are elected to represent close communities and make a difference at the municipal level. Unfortunately, not every person holding a government seat follows the laws of their country. A city councilman from Huntsville, Alabama named Devin Keith is just one example. The 34-year-old man was arrested in early February 2023 for shoplifting at, you guessed it, Walmart. While at the store for an unrelated offense, police officers were told that a thief was making their rounds. After identifying Devin as the suspect, the detectives arrested the councilman and took him to the Madison County Jail. As the youngest city council president in Huntsville history, Devin really let his community down with his actions. He'd been serving his local government since 2016 and overlooked one of the largest districts in his city. The exact charge that Devin received included fourth-degree theft of property. This usually implies that the stolen goods totaled less than $500. The police didn't tell news outlets exactly what items the representative stole, but it was Walmart, so it was likely something meaningless. Number 7. Group Mentality Walmart is known to have some strange customers. Not everyone who shops there is weird, but there are quite a lot of odd individuals that tend to frequent the store. On January 4th, 2023, the Richland County police officers responded to an urgent report that a crazed man was walking around a Walmart in Columbia, South Carolina while waving a knife around. He was also apparently screaming insults and threats at employees and customers who were just trying to mind their own business. During the outburst, bystanders tried to calm the man and attempted to get him to put the knife down, but it wasn't working. Instead, he said that he'd start slashing at people as soon as the police got there he even got up close to a witness's face with a sharp weapon. Thinking that the situation could quickly escalate, a nearby veteran named Demario Davis, who happened to be grocery shopping with his son at the time, decided to take action. On video captured by a scared witness, he was seen taking down the suspect. Davis hit the man on top of his head, which caused him to drop the knife. Thankfully, the veteran and his son were able to keep the criminal on the ground until authorities arrived. A crisis intervention team took the crazed individual to a hospital in order to assess him. It's very likely that the man was suffering from some kind of mental break. Davis later commented on the incident saying that more people should have stepped up and done something. 
He went on to say that the police can't always get there in time to help when it matters, so civilians should be prepared to take matters into their own hands. Number 6. Living It Up Have you ever wanted to stay overnight in a store? Well, one 14-year-old boy in Corsicana, Texas took that dream a step further back in August 2014. The teenager somehow managed to create a makeshift home inside of his local Walmart, and he stayed there for four whole days without being noticed. The kid had two bases of operation that he'd hide in during the night. One was in the baby products aisle behind several strollers, while the other was behind toilet paper and similar products. Customers said that they never noticed the unnamed kid who mainly stuck to himself while sneaking around his forts. For food, the boy simply took stuff off the shelves and helped himself. He had a bed, all the juice he could ever want, and even a fish from the pet department to keep him company. To ward off suspicion, he'd change his clothes every couple hours so employees wouldn't catch on. The teen was so paranoid that instead of just going to the bathroom to relieve himself, he decided to wear diapers. All good things come to an end though, and after spending days in the store, the 14-year-old was discovered thanks to a trail of empty food containers and trash. Workers at the Walmart called the police, and the boy was sent back to his family. At the time of his disappearance, he was supposedly staying with relatives, not his actual parents. And now for number 5. But first, it's shout out time! We wanted to give a big thank you to FaZe Beast and Rachel Black for supporting this channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Badger fam! Number 5. Odd Engagement Marriage is a big step for any romantic relationship, and a lot of people dream about how they're going to get engaged. For some, a proposal on the beach works, but for one couple in Bay City, Michigan, a random aisle in Walmart was more than enough. 25-year-old William Cornelius Jr. asked his 20-year-old girlfriend Sherry Moore to spend the rest of her life with him. He had an employee read out a love confession over the store's intercom system as he got down on one knee with a $30 ring he'd purchased from the store he was proposing in. The scene was met with awkward congratulations from nearby shoppers who were likely wondering if the venue was appropriate for such an important occasion. It didn't bother the lovebirds though. If anything, it strengthened their feelings for one another. That very same night, the future groom robbed another store in the area, making off with an edible thong and a sex toy from Spencer's gifts. After being taken into custody and questioned by the authorities, William said the stuff he stole was all for Sherry. This information was confirmed later on when police heard about the events earlier in the day. Apparently, Sherry also had a stolen pair of earrings and a necklace on her that she'd taken from her proposal venue. It seems like this couple was a match made in heaven, and the two of them truly deserve each other. William was charged with third-degree retail fraud, but was released on a personal recognizance bond. And before Sherry was arraigned on any charges, which included larceny, she too posted bond. Number 4. Andre Bing A manager of a Walmart in Virginia went on a rampage in November 2022. In a fit of rage, 31-year-old Andre Bing shot and killed six workers inside the facility's break room, and six more people were injured in the crossfire. Before police could arrest him, Andre turned the weapon on himself and took his own life. The manager had worked for the store for about 12 years before this incident. At the time, he was a team leader for overnight staff. There doesn't seem to have been any obvious motive for the massacre, but many employees remember Bing exhibiting strange behavior. Some claimed that he believed he was being watched by the government. This may indicate that the man was suffering from some kind of mental issue or severe paranoia. Fifty people at the property had evacuated by the time authorities arrived. A witness who saw the gunman said that the suspect walked out of the staff room before returning and shooting at the victims. Doctors believe that all six who were injured will make it through and recover. The Walmart headquarters reached out and commented on the senseless tragedy, saying, We are focused on doing everything we can to support our associates and their families. At this time, it doesn't seem like anyone else had any involvement with the attack. Number 3. Teenage Rage Kids and teenagers these days are crazy and four young girls from Louisiana between the ages of 12 and 14 were no exception back in January 2021. The suspects apparently murdered another 15-year-old girl at a Walmart location. After the act, the group went online to brag on their social media accounts. One reportedly said, Oh well, she dead now, showing an abhorrent lack of remorse. 
the stabbing was live-streamed, and the girls involved were quickly identified by law enforcement. During the search for the teens, police publicly posted surveillance footage showing the girl responsible for the stabbing itself. She was arrested on second-degree murder charges, while the other three were taken into custody for being principals to the young girl's death. The murder weapon was a stolen knife from the kitchen aisle at the crime scene. The authorities believe that the fight between the suspects and victim first started at a movie theater near the Walmart. The community was devastated by the news, and the sheriff begged local parents to have more involvement in their children's lives and take more control so something like this would never happen again. With so much video evidence showing clear intent with no remorse, the girls will no doubt be found guilty for their actions. Number 2. Preston Lamar Nelson in August 2022, a woman was intentionally hit by a car in the parking lot of a Decatur, Alabama Walmart. The person responsible for killing Sherry Sane was 33-year-old Preston Lamar Nelson. The man had apparently pulled into a designated handicapped parking spot and sat in his vehicle for a few minutes. However, when Sherry walked behind his car, he stepped on the gas and ran into her. Preston struck not only the woman, but also another vehicle in the lot which damaged his own car. After this, he tried to escape, but a witness told him to stop. By then, the man's car had stopped working thanks to the damage and he was unable to flee successfully. Police were able to arrest him and thankfully, no one else was hurt that day. Sadly though, Sherry's injuries were too great and she lost her life. Preston was immediately taken to the Morgan County Jail after the incident and it seems that he asked for a psychiatric evaluation. Given the killer's mental health history, the likelihood of this incident being related to a mental issue is high. Preston was booked into the local Morgan County Jail on a $500,000 bond, but the case is ongoing. Number 1. Jessica Vega It's every parent's worst nightmare to lose their children, but one of the last places you'd expect it to happen would be a grocery store. In San Antonio, Texas in September 2022, a woman attempted to kidnap a young child inside a local Walmart. 35-year-old Jessica Vega apparently grabbed the cart of the four-year-old girl's mother and started pushing it while the kid was peacefully sitting inside. Apparently, another one of the mother's children was holding on to it at the time, but Jessica simply yanked it away. As soon as she realized her cart and child weren't where she'd left them, the mom started yelling at the abductor. Luckily, a nearby employee saw everything and stopped Jessica before she could successfully get away. After being arrested by police for attempted kidnapping, the suspect reportedly said, addressing the girl's mom, just because she's yours doesn't mean I can't take her. Jessica has also been involved in previous incidents related to shoplifting at a different Walmart location. The woman's mugshot is incredibly unsettling and it looks as if there's evil in her eyes as she stares into the camera, grinning slightly. If we had to guess, she almost looks proud of what she's done. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. What would you do if you were stuck in a Walmart overnight? Would you live it up or hide in the shelves like the teenager from Corsicana, Texas? Let us know in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you liked today's video. We'll see you next time on Bad Badger.